day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed part B. This is part C into our study that we did saying knowing him means letting no one disqualify you. Qualify, disqualify you from what? Disqualify you from your salvation. Disqualify your relationship with God. Disqualify from your justification that came from God. Disqualify you from your righteousness that is not your personal righteousness but the righteousness of God. Disqualify you, disqualifying you from the connection of God. Don't allow in saying I'm saying is let's not try to use tools of condemnation and shame and trying to scare people that they're going to hell because they're not performing to the behavior that you want them to perform to. Don't put people down because they still like to party. They still like to go to the club. They still like to drink. They still like to, to dance or, or, or things that most cases are not trying to be harmful to anybody else. It's just the things that they like to do. What we need to do is to continue to point people toward Jesus Christ and allow the Holy Spirit to be the one that conforms people and shape people and mold, and mold people to the things of God. It's not about us doing that. And unless, I think a lot of cases when we do the Bible thumping, when we try to do the condemning and condemnation of people because we don't like what they're doing, we don't like their behavior. And a lot of us sit there and say, well, I don't like, I hate sin. But we project the hate on the person, not the sin. And I know the reason why you don't project it on the sin because sin doesn't care. You know, the Bible said, in my flesh dwellers no good thing. The sin is present or evil is present with me in Romans 7. That, that's the part you hate about a person. But that's in their flesh. Remember, it's their spirit that we're looking at. It is the spirit that God is looking at. It is the spirit that has everlasting life with the soul, not the flesh. And it's God that does the, the molding and shaping in somebody's life, not us. It's just like somebody trying to get married and, and they don't like how the behavior of the person, but they believe they can change that person in marriage and realize and come to disappointment in most cases where you find out you can't change anybody. No one can change anybody. It's not about us being able to change somebody. We're not even called to change people. We're called to preach the gospel, the good news. We're called to let them understand that when, they, when the Holy Spirit comes into them, that it's the Holy Spirit to start performing the work in them. Just like I like that, that scripture I'm talking about the Philippians uh, 1 6, it says, Paul said that he's confident in this very thing. That he that has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The day of Pentecost is when the Holy Spirit being endued with power fell on the believers. That same Holy Spirit falls on everyone that received Jesus Christ, the personal Lord and the Savior in their heart and their spirit. There's people that want to come to God, want to come to the things of God, but they they come with understanding that the love and the mercy and the grace of God, they come not to be instantly changed to what we call super saints. In a lot of cases, we get mad because we're expecting people to be super saints. And if they're not, we want to run them away. And we forgot the fact that when we came, we were not super saints either. And many of us aren't super saints today. But we sit there and try to do that. We try to put people down. We try to try to shame people. And it ain't working. It doesn't work. It just runs people away. So I'm, I'm just in, asking all of us to let people come as they are. And let the Holy Spirit work with them. We talk about the fact is that Adam and Eve, when they when they ate the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that they, they put leaves on themselves. And when God's presence showed up, they hid themselves from the presence of God 
in a lot of cases they didn't understand you can't hide from God Adam and Eve wouldn't accept the, the responsibility they blamed everybody else for why they did what they did but God did the work and sent his son to help mankind when we sit there and we need to understand if we try to put ourselves in the place of God when a person hides from us they will be successful they can be ran off all they want to do is run from the presence of you if you try to play God and be the substitute instead of letting God be the one allowing the Holy Spirit be the one to change and mold and shape somebody instead of ourselves that's what I'm trying to get to let us stop trying to be God because we can't be God and we can't be there all the time towards somebody making them conform to the behavior that we believe they should perform to. We, we can't be there to keep a beer out of their hands or wine out of their hands or keep them out of the club or, or keep them from being with somebody they were supposed to be and, 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 and having sex and anything else. We can't be there all the time. So why are we trying to play the role of God? And why are we trying to run people away from the things of God? Let's focus on letting God be God and let us be the encouragers and in, 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 in praying for a person who comes to Christ. Always pointing toward Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith. I want to read these scriptures here real quick for you before we go and get into the video. It starts in John chapter 3. And in John chapter 3, one of the things I noticed in there, it says in uh, verse 18, He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. The light is coming to the world and men love his darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does this evil hates the light rather than come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. We try to do the reproving, and it's God that does the reproving. Because verse 21 said, But he that does his truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that the things that they are wrath in God. What do you mean, Roth and God? Roth means to be shaped and molded by the man or being manufactured. Let God do the Roth and let God do the reproving. Let God do the shaping instead of us because we can't be there all the time. And it's easier for somebody to run away from us than from God. See, I want to so if we get them to know God and know that the Holy Spirit is with them, when they go to the back in the booth in the corner of the dog, they need to understand that God is in the back in the booth of the car in the dog with them. But they know that you're not in the back in the booth in the corner of the dog. Therefore, they they'd rather you be substitute for God so no, they can hide from you. They can hide from me. And we can hide from each other. But we can't hide from God. And all we want to do is if we get the person to know Him, know the Holy Spirit, and know the Holy Spirit dwells in us. The Bible says, Great is He that is in us, that He is in the world. If we can just get believers to grow and understand that He never will leave you nor forsake you, that even in the back, in the booth, in the corner, in the dark, God is there. And He'll never leave you. And He's working with you. And he'll perform that good work until Jesus comes. So, let's stop being Bible thumpers. Let's stop trying to condemn people because we don't like them drinking or like them partying or like them dancing and all that stuff and trying to come up with rules and, and all those things that we think is going to make them change. The only thing we really need to do and call them to do is to point them toward Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to be the teacher the mother of all of us and then I guarantee you he will perform the good work because you can't neither can I so I hope you understand where I'm coming from and enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next side which is part D and we'll wrap it up for next week amen all right
God bless you. I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. And I'm saying that because it's true. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. A, a, a saint is not trying to find a way to sin, but a way out of sin. So therefore, well, who, created, who created them boxes that you have to check? Who? Who made that test? So who, who who completed that questionnaire? <laughs> I mean, who who created the questionnaire? That's what I want to know because I know it, there's one out there, but who created it? <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole bunch of people that they'll let you know. I had a, I remember my son that, that was uh, dealing with politics and and the, the issue on abortion, and and you have some people in politics uh, sit there and say. How can you be a Christian if you you accept the platform of a party that says you can you know it's all right to have abortion, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? So 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 that's 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 one of the examples where people sit there and try to make a questionnaire and your affiliation with a party or your affiliation with a platform uh, or your agreement with a woman because see that's that's a, that's the issue about that right there's a there's a woman that says i want to have the right to determine what i what i want to carry this child or not and then there's another group that said i want to represent the child who can't speak on their behalf come on so so I, i'm i'm on the child i'm on the side of life and then the other one is saying well i'm on the side of choice and yet somebody made that and said how can you be saved if you're on the side of choice. Now, that a good one? That's a good example, ain't it? Yes, sir. That's a very, yes, that's a very good point. It's a very valid point. Right. And, 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 uh, it's, it's, it just, to, to put that into the being saved box, that is out of order. Well, the thing about that is this, and, and, and that's a good point because I'd have to ask my question, just like you said, then what does the scriptures teach? Or what would his position be? But then, too, when we're talking about an individual, well, on some points, I'm on the same side as he on. On some points, I'm the opposite of him. But that's going to be on every candidate. So either one you pick, there's going to be some points I agree with and some points I don't agree with. So so you can say, well, how can you side with him on this? Well, how can you side with that one on that? Exactly. And we can go back and forth like that forever. But at some point, you have to decide what is the lesser of the two evils that you think will bring about the agenda that he will want and then go with your conscience right because that's the only thing you can do but i mean you know we're all into shaming and trying to make people feel bad and putting parameters in place to somewhat deter behavior yeah you know for instance raising raising girls we may have said well you can't go to high school dances is it that i really didn't want her to dance i didn't really want her to mingle with her friends and then to do with it if she wasn't going to the dance then maybe she wasn't going to be holding hands with the boy. And if she wasn't holding hands with the boy, maybe they weren't going to sneak in the corner. Right. If they didn't sneak in the corner, maybe they wouldn't make it to the back seat of the car. <laughs> if they didn't make it to the back seat of the car, maybe she'd still be a virgin now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. It wasn't so much that I didn't want her to dance, uh -huh. but I felt like that was the means by which I could stave off other uh, practices that I really, that's what I was aiming for. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to hit. That's what I'm trying to hit. But I'm yes, trying to sir. do all these other stuff in the meantime. And so Christianity is the same way. It's not that they, you know, they want to say that dancing is a sin, you know, because a lot of churches say you can't even dance, you know, yeah. saying, you know, back in the day. Right. But, but, but like when Elvis first came out, gyrating from the waist down, they wouldn't allow that on TV except the waist up and certain things because, you know, in the Bible bit of the South, all that gyrating they carrying on was just disgusting with Christians. So, so, and it wasn't so much that that was a sin. But you start seeing all this gyrating, and then you start wanting to dance, and they say, you know, you want to go to a club. You know right. what I'm saying? So <laughs> the best way I can do for you is just shut the whole thing down and tell you all of it is a sin. You know, mm -hmm. kissing is a sin. Or holding hands is a sin. And therefore, if you if you think holding hands is a sin, I ain't worried about you don't go get naked. You exactly, exactly. Sure. Exactly. And that and that mm -hmm. and that and that's where it's, that's goes back to Adam and Eve. When they said don't yeah. eat the tree. The, the last thing I heard somebody said, "Don't touch, the, don't touch it, unless you die." And that's how the, that's how Satan comes in. You will not surely die. Now, now the question is, was he right 
on one point. He was right, Father. If he if he tell him that if you touch it, you're not gonna die. And then also, Chris, he was saying that you're not gonna physically die. That 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 mm -hmm. became the mentality, right? But you what we want to understand is that it's a spiritual conversation that God is dealing with. You'll be spiritually cut off. Right? And that's I think that's why people put all these layers. What he just said is exactly what people do. All these layers to 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 what keep you from getting for? to the actual sin itself. You know, and, and I understand what they're talking about is the child can't speak for themselves, so they want to say that's murder. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that tell you the truth that that is murder. But the question is, does it? Can you have the, that person? Can we tell that person what to do with their body? That's the part. Right, I, right. That's the part I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. And then the other part is, I was I was telling somebody, well, why don't we just make the law <laughs> about fornication itself? <laughs> you know, maybe we tell them don't have sex, or maybe that's going to be what's illegal <laughs> because you can't get pregnant unless you. True. All that stuff Jim was talking about a few minutes ago. If if you didn't do all this, you you, you never got to the deed. Exactly. The deed yeah. itself causes another ripple effect, which is sex STD, <laughs> unwanted pregnancy. Potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and, and the, the, I guess one of the things I was trying to say, man, really is that you know you read what you sow. A lot of kids we understand is there's consequences here, not so much as some of consequences Absolutely. in the spirit, but Absolutely. here. Absolutely. You know, you sit with somebody's wife, and that man catch you, or that woman catch you <laughs> with another woman. You know, if she got that, if she has a gun, it's over with. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. So, so that's why we said maybe, maybe not so much for you to worry about. What are you going to heaven? Because I think Jimmy used to say that sin has nothing to do between you and God, right? Yeah, yeah. If, if you're if you're right with that particular relationship, <laughs> sin is not an issue between you and him. Exactly. Uh, That's what I like about that, right? It's not an issue. Yeah. That's an issue between you and the world. Absolutely yeah. right. That's what. Absolutely right. That's why we have to sit there and tell people there's a difference between saying the right and wrongs of impact and results in this life but let's let's not mix that up with the impact of eternal life eternal all, salvation all transgression all transgression is sin yes sir mm -hmm. so that that's why god that's why we got to sit there just trying to understand people i'm saying god is not if you're trying to talk about salvation you need to leave the salvation part alone when you're talking about behavior because behavior has nothing to do with your acceptance of God or acceptance of Jesus Christ, you know? Well, there's only one way to pass. And that's 100% accuracy. Accuracy, right. 100%. So 99.9 .9 and you and you miss one piece of one question, then, then you fail. Yes. Plain and simple. <laughs> the only way you can pass is 100% perfection. And so, based on that, no one gets right. a passing grade. Right. right. The gate, no one gets a passing grade. No one. So, mm -hmm. therefore, it's going to take something bigger than you, other than you, that's going to have to allow you in. Because you can't get in on your own merit. You can It's an impossibility. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It is, it's, it's the simplest, like, you know, I, my, my video cut off. I cut it back with one, two, three. Chris, I just get it back and seek again. <laughs> I got you. But but that's that's why we gotta keep understand is don't don't run people off because of where they at. And, and then I wanna encourage people like hey hey what hey Jimmy, when last time you saw uh, Brother Bell? Uh yesterday. And and you know, one of the things that when we had conversations with him before was the fact he said, I just can't believe you can keep on sinning. Right, right. And 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 uh, I don't know if he tried to say sin and be saved, or sin and and keep going to church, because I think we want to make sure people understand there's a two different pieces here, right? What I'm saying is there's a spiritual part, 
And the spiritual part is God has not left you. He, matter of fact, Chris, I think, Jim, we're talking about he's in a hot pursuit with you. He's with you. He went to the club with you. Yes, sir. Come on now. He, he, you better he, be glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, so so when people sit there and want to just separate themselves from the a fellow believer, you you can do that physically, but you're not separating from him spiritually. And that's what's more important anyway. The whole purpose of fellowshipping is what to help each other grow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the yeah. whole purpose of fellowshipping. You know, yeah, and and one of one of the things I was checking out, hey, hey, Chris, you got that one for uh, John, chapter uh, three, sixteen, and eighteen. If you if you all have, I got, uh, all I got is the Ephesians slide right now. I know it. I I didn't put it up. Let me see if I got it here. One second. I saw. Yeah, I got um. Uh, you see John fourteen now, but I'm trying to look at. I'm looking for three. I don't know if I put it in here. I was wondering if you could turn to it. All right, hold on. Let me. Let me get my. Forgot my other phone. Got my Bible thing on this other phone. I got. Well, okay. I think I y'all can see these slides right here. Though you can see the. Uh, you can see the. Uh, E sword, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jim, one of the things I noticed that in uh, 316 and down, let me see here, God's a little world. The, the, the one I was looking at was, Jimmy, was the uh, verse 19. And 19 to 21. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, the, it, it says it here, it says verse 19. Well, I, I, mean, I just read, when we start from, what, 18? He that believes on him is not condemned. But mm -hmm. he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And that this is the, con this is the condemnation. That light has come into the world. You there, Chris? Mm -hmm. you, you have it? Okay, light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Mm -hmm. For everyone that does his evil, look at this crazy talking about they hate his light. Mm -hmm. And look, they neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be... Now that reproved Jimmy is... That's where somebody may sit there and say, "Let's let's talk about what you what you're doing." And I, and I think some people don't say, "If see, Chris, in other words, was that birds of the feather like to flock together?" Yes, sir. And, and therefore, if 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 you if you if you 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 like if if you are like a crackhead, like a hang around a crackhead. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yeah. they know that crackhead gonna be in agreement with them. Yes, sir. But but they don't want to hang around somebody who's not a crackhead. A lot of cases because that person is gonna be like, man, I ain't into all that. Oh yeah, yeah. There's and, gonna be a level where you're of uncomfortableness. For yeah, sure. yeah. Now the question though, people, I don't think Jimmy. The other piece said, look at this one right here, the next verse though. But he that does the truth coming to the light. That his deeds may be manifest, that they are wroth in God. Now I didn't check that that definition. I meant to check that, Chris. I don't know if I, I don't know if I, you ever read. We read that one before. The last piece was wroth in God. Anybody know what the mm -hmm. anybody know the definition of wroth in God? The wroth piece. Tatiana mm -hmm. Tatiana knows what it is. She can look it up. She went. She, she, she's recent from college. <laughs> I know that's right. You got, what's she doing? She, can she look it up for me? <laughs> Let me see. Roth and God. Let me see what this thing, what Roth means. Beaten out or shaped by, and, uh, by a part, part of simple of work, archaic past and present. Um, 
Yeah, it's just to be being just like 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 you said, like wrought iron. You uh, got you right. beat it into the shape that you want. Oh, exactly. oh. In other words, if you come to God, then He's the one who's going to help. That's that's the one. The shape. That's the author and finish your faith again, ain't it? Mm-hmm. But it, some, that they're beaten out, shaped, conformed, manifested from that perspective. I would say. In other words, God, you come to God. He's the one that's going to try to shape you and conform mm -hmm. you, right? <laughs> but sometimes, someone online, Chris, I think is some people decide it's the church that's doing the shaping. Exactly. Hey, you're you going to get real ass. Hey, you're going to get wrought right because they're going to beat you over the head with what they want you to do. So, so, then they don't, they <laughs> look, so then they don't come to church. <laughs> they don't fellowship exactly. with a particular saint because they don't want that person to, to try to do the shaping. Well, exactly. Go ahead, what y'all don't understand is that uh, time out was called and a substitution was made. Woo! <laughs> now they just stepped in in his place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they done tapped into the ring and oh. you're in the ring and now they're going to sit there and see how they can go ahead and do the shaping. They done told him, I got this. You, <laughs> you, you, you need to come out the game. I got this. <laughs> and, 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 and the problem is they want them to fight. Their problem is that they want you, they want to meet you in the church four walls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to do the shaping. And they want to shame yeah. you because they can't be there 24 7. And therefore, the believer is focused on the church instead of yeah. focused on the shaper, which is God. But that goes back into uh and now these mega churches and all all they want to do is put up another clone. They wanna put you in the shape you want to. You gotta have show on the back of your car. You gotta have your Bible, you gotta have your highlighter, you gotta wear this suit, you gotta do this. That's what they're they're like I said, they're shaping their minions to follow after them and not follow after God. And that's the same thing and the, and the one that did it the longest has been when you're talking about the Catholic Church. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and and I just wanted to, I'm just, you know, if nothing else we can get out of this uh, session today is to tell somebody, look, God is with you wherever you go. Because mm -hmm. cause, cause the bottom line, if you get born again, I mean, you receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. Once you did that, that means the Holy Spirit has moved into you. And it doesn't matter whether you go back to the club. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you go back to that woman that you're not married to. It doesn't matter. Oh, boyfriend, depends on the if it's a woman. It doesn't matter if you go back to the drugs. He's still with you, Jimmy. Is that true? Is he still with you or not? Yeah, he better be. He said he was. He he said, "I never leave you nor forsake you." And and that. That's why I'm trying to tell people don't 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 run away from Christ because you can't you can't even run away from God. Look, hey, back to the garden again. When Adam sinned with Eve, they hid themselves from the presence of God. Now, Jimmy, I could swore it. How can you hide from God? Did anybody know how to hide from God? I don't think it's possible. Nope. <laughs> So look, it's it's like it's just like those they, those guys that do that little mirror thing. You ever do that? The outside and they look like it's a wall or something. Mm -hmm. It's it's like you're sitting there and it, imagine that is a magic wall, but you can see through it. Mm -hmm. and, and what I'm saying is, God can see through no matter where you are. He would he wasn't asking Adam. He wasn't looking for Adam. He was asked, he really was saying, Adam, where are you? Do you know where you are? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you had, mm -hmm. Adam, Adam was sitting there and saying, in the flesh, Chris, in the flesh, I hid because I, I was afraid. So I hid. Oh, we don't drink any more coffee. But the point is, who, who you had? Do you know who you're hiding from? <laughs> exactly. And okay. that's what, th right. That's why we want to make sure people say, don't 
if you come into the body of Christ, don't stop fellowship with the saints. Because the saints are the ones that's shaping you. The saints are the ones that are trying to work with you and work with themselves too, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know about I don't know about somebody else. Iron shop is iron to help each other grow. And that's yeah. what he wants us to do. So so I, I wanted to bring that up, man. And and the fact is that a lot of people leave the church. In the church, Chris, I think we're talking about the uh, the communion thing. Yeah. That that was an example of you need to you need to walk out because yes, because the church is the light. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's it. That's, that's there. Like I said, they use that as a discriminator <laughs> to keep you out. The church is the light. You know? mm -hmm. And the church is not a light. And that that's that's why we need to make sure people understand. The church is not the light. The Come church now. the church is is, is the church is, is fellow believers should be trying to help each other grow. That's all I want, I want to put into that, is if we don't yeah, sit yeah. there and understand, man, and I, you know, I can say, like you ever see Brother Bell, I just want to let him know, man, God is not looking for you to stop. He's looking for you to fellowship with him. And if you mm -hmm. fellowship with him, eventually, eventually, <laughs> You're gonna change because you fellowship with him, but no doubt. But if you, if you, if you, I don't know what the timeline is. I asked him that question before, and I said, he said, I don't believe you can keep on sinning. And my question is, when do you stop? Good, good question. That's a that very good, good question. question. Yeah, when, when, mm -hmm. you know, that's a very good question. And and when did God gonna care? What would? In other words, we gotta keep growing. That's the whole point. So you ever see him yeah. saying, "Look, I like him to come on back." Cause that's what we talk about, just fellowshipping, you know. Now, I, I did put on these slides right here. This one about, uh, and I, and I wrap up with that is Colossians chapter two. Mm 